Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an interesting unboxing for you. This is from the angry Kickapoogian Tom. I uh, got a lot of unboxings in a row here. Sorry about that. Uh, this is a Strider. What? Kev bought a Strider? Yep. Um, I bought this. Uh, I didn't buy it. I traded for this with Tom. I traded uh, two knives for this, and um, it was a pretty good trade, I think, for me. And uh, obviously, he got what he wanted to, so it worked out. And I'm not a Strider guy. I'm not going to carry this. I'm probably not even going to review it. But I couldn't really turn down a Strider because I could probably use it as trade bait. So let's see. That's what you get, apparently, from Strider. Unboxing knife was the mini critical. Uh, Kaiser, obviously, White Mountain Knives exclusive. Uh, really cool knife, actually. I am digging it for sure. Uh, so let's see what we got here. I believe he also sent a clip. So this is a skull clip, which I guess goes pretty well with the uh strider theme uh, it's deep carry which is cool and i don't know maybe it goes with the knife we'll see put that up here so apparently this knife literally comes in a ziploc bag there we go so this my friends is the strider smf it is dead centered which is nice it has this aluminum uh, monoblock scale, so it's not the G10, which is cool, obviously. I hate G10. Uh, clip is, you know, a clip. We have tiger stripes on the blade. I'm guessing it's, what's this? Is that a chisel grind? Or is it just a weird grind? Man, it's thick. Look at that. Holy shit. CPM 154. Interesting. Is that what they use now? I'm assuming this is new. Looks brand new. Oh, what is that? It actually has good action? No. Can I flick it? Oh. Very weak detent. Let's see. I mean, it clicks. You can flick it out. Ergos are pretty good. I mean, it fits my hand really well. Got the jumping up there. This blade just throws it off for me. Looks cool, though. It looks like it dropped shut. I mean, look at that. It's a strider, baby. There's no lock stick on this. Man, that detent, though, is absolutely weak. I mean, I guess it's meant to be rolled out like that, right? Is that how it's meant to be done? Like this. Now, I'm left-handed, so it might be easy because you could probably put any pressure you want on this lock bar. Yeah. Uh, it's a big knife, too. So this is the SMF, which is, I believe, the bigger one or the biggest one. I'm not sure, actually. This is the Liang Ma Field Duty, which is three and three quarters inch on the blade it's bigger than that on the blade and the knife in general is a little bit bigger it seems uh but a very comparative size uh difference if i put these this way you'll see it's not as drastic as it looks uh, i hate that about the camera angle but it is smaller for sure um uh, see now the field duty looks like blade length is there it's just short of it um both of these sort of utilize the same concept in terms of ergos, right? You have the uh, choil sort of half into the blade. This one, a little less so. And then you have uh, sort of the, sw you know, the, the grip for back here, where Leon kind of utilizes one neutral grip. Strider's using this little uh, choil and then, a, and then a fatter grip going out. So this grip back here is pretty comfortable. Uh, 
not quite as comfortable as Leong's, and this choke up grip is excellent on a ma knife. Uh, ironically, this one actually has a little bit of stick. Uh, but this grip is super comfortable left handed, at least for me. And then obviously with Strider, you have that sort of fighting stance grip right here. You get this sort of upswept angle that's kind of the deal with striders uh you can also hold it like this into the choil you sort of have a double choil because you have this thing going on um i mean the action is really good on this for a strider i'd say i'm uh, not quite can i thunder it out with the there you go you could uh thumb it out a little bit better can you use these yeah not really uh, you probably could but why do that when you can just get pressure behind it um, there you go. I mean, detent-wise, it's pretty disappointing, maybe. I think for a Strider, it's probably fine. I haven't handled many. I've handled one other SMF. It was Kyle's and uh, D2M Knives and Gears, and his had G10, I think. This feels way better in hand, and it's much lighter weight. Uh, really a big fan of this aluminum, and... Uh, this is not a bad knife. I mean, I'm actually kind of liking this knife. I don't think I would keep it or carry it or anything, but uh, definitely a cool one to check out. Uh, and then with that clip, you could utilize that clip screw, I guess, and drop this guy on, and then you're going to have a deep carry clip too, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it looks pretty good. It goes with the theme of tactical which i'm not into so uh, i'll probably try to use this to trade so i think that's my plan right now um but it may be gone by the time you see this it may not it's just kind of how it goes so uh that's the strider smf from the angry kick of Pugin. this little trade we made there thank you buddy yeah it fires up so let's see if it cuts how about that let's see if it cuts then we can close this out Yeah, got a good edge on it, that's for sure. 154, not everybody's favorite steel, certainly not mine. I'm surprised. I thought they used uh, S35 and S45, but, uh, you know, apparently they use CPM 154, USA made. Is there anything I should show you guys? I don't know. I'm not a Strider guy, so I don't know anything. Uh, there's no... There's no... Uh, relief there or there i guess the relief is kind of the fact that you're using the mono block uh, it's on washers they look good i mean they're nice big washers um i'm actually really digging it uh if if this were a smaller size you know um and didn't have the tiger stripe I might like it a, a bit. Um, I think the S and G size would fit me better. And I think um, the Tiger Stripe obviously doesn't fit me. The Blackout stuff doesn't fit me. If they did a satin, they'd be cool. But I doubt they do. Um, so, anyway, there you go. Sorry, I keep rambling. That's the SMF from Strider. I love you guys. Thank you, uh, Tom. Really appreciate the trade. Well done, sir. Hope you get your package today as well. Uh, they, of course, delivered this yesterday. And I was like, what? Uh, it's a Sunday. How did you deliver this? Uh, the day after New Year's. Like, no way. And I go to the post office today. And they're like, oh, the carrier delivered it to the wrong address. And I'm like, well, what address? Because I have a neighbor who lives a street up. I'm on 3rd Street. He's on 4th Street. He gets my mail a lot. Uh, I have his number now because of how often that happens. Um, and he's like, nope, didn't get it. So I'm like, oh, crap. And so they wouldn't give me the address. They said uh, they wouldn't want to put their customers in danger. And I said, look at me. <laughs> you think I'm going to be in danger? I got my SMF, baby. You know, I uh, was just kidding. Uh, but anyway, I guess they collected it from the uh, person who had it and then they dropped it off here. So there it is in all its glory. I don't know what it's worth. I don't know if it's a cool version. I don't know anything. 
you know, you guys are probably going to tell me. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.